Hey Taurus, how are you doing? I hope all is well with you. My name is MJ. Welcome to my Creative Intuition Tarot. Uh, Taurus, another reading for you for the month of June 2022, but this time a classic Celtic uh, cross spread. A uh, general reading that can apply to any area of life. So as always, listen to your intuition. Take the messages as they feel relevant for you. I will be using two tarot decks so that we get in-depth messages for you, okay? Um, if this is your first time here, welcome. I hope that you like it here. If you are returning, welcome back. Always a great pleasure to have you here. And with that said, let's prepare the decks. Just a few more shuffles because I have pre-shuffled the decks already. So let's give it one more and let's cut the deck in two. And the first deck is ready for you. And a few more shuffles with the other deck. And we will get to your messages, Taurus. Your messages for June 2022. If you haven't seen, check out your general reading. Uh, some great messages for you there as well. Uh, so, starting with the heart of the mother. What is currently happening with you? You have a beautiful leap towards happiness, nine of cups, uh, and the wheel of fortune. Listen. Uh, doesn't get any better than this to start with. Really, luck is on your side and there's happiness, fulfillment, abundance. And this is self-made. Nine of Cups, for me, is a self-made happiness, okay? So, it's like being independent in your happiness. Not needing external resources, uh, not resources, I'm sorry, external well, factors or validation for your happiness, you being your own source of happiness, you and your diligent work, okay? This can be happiness on emotional level, spiritual, creative. It can also be financial abundance, can be about your career, <clears throat> by you being the source of it. And also with the wheel of fortune, luck is on your side. There are lucky turns of uh, the wheel and everything is happening at the right time. This is trusting that everything is happening at the right time. The wheel is constantly turning, okay? So there are lucky turns of the wheel for you and lucky changes. The wheel, number 10. 10, 9 to the 10. Completions, accomplishments, new beginnings. Beautiful. Um, in your challenge or what is crossing you, this is definitely not challenge. What is crossing your way is the 10 of cups, which is emotional fulfillment. That is what you are leaping towards here. Uh, so again, you have 9 to the 10, okay? Um, and clarified with the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands to me, regardless of gender, it is the feminine energy, but this is the sexiest queen in the tarot deck for me. She is her own cheerleader. She believes in herself, knows her worth in a good way, not in like self-centered way, but in a good way. She just recognized her worth. Uh, her skills, talents, her good energy. She's not selling herself for less than she's worth. And she also doesn't need external validation to feel good with yourself, about herself, including her appearance, her outer look, her physicality. Okay? So, uh, this is crossing you. This is on your path. Is that where, where you build that self or that independence when it comes to your happiness, that's where you grow from 9 to the 10, and you grow into that energy of the Queen of Wands, where you are your own cheerleader, and you also um, create a ripple effect, because people want to be around energy like this. So you also become um, a charismatic leader, or at least like, you know, a center of attention. People like to be around you because you bring joy and happiness. Okay, so this is crossing you. This is on your path. Um, everything happens at the right time. So it may not be happening immediately, but this is crossing your way in June. Okay, uh, past. What past events are shaping your current situation? You have the Seven of Cups uh, and you have the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so this is about having options, dreaming, dreaming big, daydreaming, visualizing, but options and also illusions, being able to choose the right option. Okay, Two of Pentacles, making the right choice from a balanced place, weighing options to choose where do you want to invest yourself, your money, your time, energy, skill set, etc. Okay, your feelings, emotions, creativity. So in the past, you have made the right choice. You have been able to maintain your balance and flexibility through the time of changes, even though it may have been uh, quite intense and maybe chaotic, 
but you managed. You chose happiness. That's why we have what we have in the center of your spread. Uh, in your conscious, where, where's your mind at? And you have the seven of wands and you have the king of swords. I like this. So there's maturity in your mind space with the king of swords. You're rational. You see clearly. You make the right choices. You're able to strategize, plan. It, you know, you may be perceived as a little cold, um, but it's just about you being so mature that, that you're not wasting your time making wrong choices or wasting your energy and this is also encouragement for you to to follow this energy uh that you you know how to use your mind as a tool you use it when you need it but you don't overthink you don't overuse it because that's where it leads to problems fears anxieties and overthinking and all that stuff so you have that maturity in your conscious to be able to navigate through your headspace um, safely and, and from the place of authority. With the seven of wands, you are really determined to protect that. You know that you have it and you are willing to protect uh, this attitude, this level of maturity and to fight for it. You are really, you feel good, you are able to tackle everything that stands on your way. Okay. You have achieved a level of success um, with the six of wands being like preceding the seven of wands. And you are really determined and willing and wanting to protect this success. It, no one is going to take it away from you. Um, in your future, what is likely to happen? The short-term possibilities. Again, making choices, making the right choices, choosing the... Look at this. And two of swords. So you have... You have had the two of pentacles in the past and now you have in your future uh, two of wands, two of swords. Still making choices. Remember that in your conscious you have that maturity and, and the tools, skills, the intellect, sharp, brilliant intellect of the king of swords. You will be making more choices. It can be related to a place of living with the two of wands. You have that world. Uh, under your feet, you may be choosing physical direction, maybe travel, but it may be about your career, whatever that is, okay, whatever. You may be choosing furniture in, in the store, but it's about making the choices about where, again, what drives you. It's not, it's also a little bit about where do you invest yourself, but what drives you with the one's energy, where, where your desires at. So you will be choosing, uh, and the two of swords is inviting you or reminding you to follow your intuition, okay? Block that human mind that likes to control situations. And when it cannot, it goes crazy and it creates bad scenarios. Block it because you have the tools to do it. You rule here and instead follow your intuition, okay? You don't even need physical eyes. Go within and from that place, you will always make the right choice because you are the one ruling it. Don't worry about making the wrong choice. You already have experience in making the right choices. That's one thing. Second thing, you can always adjust. Because the two of pentacles taught you that change is constant. And you need to learn the dance of change. Whatever you choose here, you will have a chance to adjust as you go. So don't be afraid. It's more important to make the choice and keep moving forward. Instead of being stuck from fear of making the wrong choice. Your future is full of choices and that puts you in a great position because it tells you that you are the one choosing. You are making executive decisions, okay? You are the boss here. In your unconscious, what truly drives the situation? <laughs> choices, choices, making judgment calls, even though you may not consciously realize this. The time has come. Your destiny is calling you to make certain choices so that you can close really close uh, out previous cycles and embark on that new huge adventure page of wands a new beginning you are learning magic you don't even know this unconscious you don't even notice that the divine is teaching you magic and making the right choices it's some kind of like a, a, a magic skill for you at this time perhaps so this is at the root of your spread this is what is driving you from that really deep unconscious level of your um, existence okay the divine is definitely supporting you you are like with the page of wands it's like you are the 
the fertile creative child of the universe. Okay, I like this. Let's look at you then. What is your view of the situation? Look, you're dancing. Um, Four of Wands often uh, said it's 11, 11, and you had the movement from 9 to the 10, now through to 11, it's like the portal. You are really happy. Uh, or th this may be coming as June progresses for you, but you really need to realize that the happiest you go through it, the, the, the happier your ceremony is. Like You are truly growing and laying solid foundations with the Four of Wands for your future, really solid grounds with the choices that you make and you should absolutely celebrate the fact that you are the one making those choices look at this judgment twice in your reading unconsciously and consciously you are called to make judgment calls in your life to choose wisely but this reminds you that you have the wisdom to make the right choices. The divine is supporting you. Hear the call and act upon it. And your call is to be happy, to celebrate the changes that are happening. You are closing off previous cycles and moving through a portal to a new one. You should have as much fun as you only can. Because this, this will not happen again in that way in your life. This is like a one-time experience it doesn't mean you will not have magical experiences as you go but this is something that you experience probably for the first time enjoy as much as you can external influence environment look at this you have the lovers so love is all around you and even if you are not in a relationship i really feel you are maturing on on that love level of your existence your heart is growing your soul is growing and you are really uh, coming to Almost like, well, maybe for some of you realizing your life purpose, but really coming in deep connection with your soul and heart, realizing that there is more than meets the eye. And this is June, number six. <laughs> and six of pentacles, see? Um, you reap what you have sown, what is happening and the amount of love that you experience from external in your life is a result of the love that you planted. Okay, so this is my little justice card in the minor arcana. Uh, the universe is showering you with blessings, but you have planted the first seeds for this to come. This is also reminding you that you can only give with the six of coins as much as you can so that you don't leave yourself in a place of poverty, lack, scarcity. So as you receive love, you want to give love, but remember to have your own boundaries and leave a, a, a fair amount for yourself first. You need to take care of yourself first, provide for yourself before you can share with others. But your environment is bubbling with like positive magic and really a lot of love. Yeah, and you are maturing um, almost like you're ready to face the, the world, even though you are already an adult person. Because you feel a lot better prepared with all that love that you realize is there for you to, to draw from. I hope that makes sense. Now, your hopes or fears. Nine of Wands. This is about not giving up. Four of Cups. Four of Cups. A card of being dissatisfied, discontent. Nine of Wands. Um... The last push is needed, being very close to achieving something, but this is a card of the wounded warrior, and, and oftentimes it leads to giving up while we're very close to achieving something. Look how this is familiar to the Four of Wands card, right? But this happiness and carrying this may sometimes become a burden or feel like a burden if it's not giving the, the desired outcome as quick as we would assume. And it leads to discontentment, discouragement, and it makes us consider giving up. Uh, this is in your fears. So it's definitely not a hope, right? It's more of a fear that you are not going to make it there, that, that it's too big, that it requires too much effort. Uh, so what can I say? Just don't give up. You need to go past through it. Uh, the moment you realize this is your fear, 
So you also realize that you can control it. The moment it comes to you, the moment you feel discouraged, remember about this. And remember about not giving up because the discouragement and dissatisfaction comes to you to test you when you are so close to um, to success. Okay? Last but not least, outcome. Given the rest of the spread, the long-term outcome, Ace of Swords, a new beginning with the temperance. Look at this. So you have realization, growth, expansion in your headspace, um, clarity and truth, really, really realizing the truth uh, as it is, your truth, your authenticity, your purpose. Um, and this is very deeply healing. That truth and clarity that comes with the temperance, that is the deepest healing that can come your way. And that is in your outcome, provided that you don't give up when the time comes for you to be tested on your strength and persistence. That is coming your way. The light, the clarity, cutting through the, um, the deception and fogginess primarily of your human ego mind space. Okay? So don't give up because this is closer than you think. We are looking at more or less June, right? And I'll leave it there, Taurus. I hope that you um, enjoyed your reading uh, and I hope that you were able to make sense out of those messages. As always, take care of yourself. Uh, have a great time, great rest of June and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.